Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday the 2nd of October. Where I said that one of the signals that we sent out in our stock scanner memberships in our members area, our members get the opportunity to download spreadsheets every day for potential long and short fifth wave trades on the 60 minute, the daily and the weekly time frame. And look at short trades today. So in the members area, our members simply, simply sorry, click on the uh, image here and download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet for today looks like this. I've chosen the 60 minute time frame, but you can see at the bottom of the spreadsheet there, you can click on weekly and daily tab to look at those uh, scam results for today. I've chosen a potential short. Markets did sell off quite a bit yesterday on the R negative this morning. So let's have a look at one of these potential shorts on the 60 minute time frame here. So I'm using the Elite Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim trading platform from Wave5Trade.com, but it's also available for uh, Ninja Trader, TradeStation, and Multi Charts currently. So this is a very range bound period on SEP on the one hour chart. You see here for the last four, 10 or 12 days or so, we have been a, a very big range bound period. And then recently over the last week or so, we've pulled down, down on this six minute chart on a wave three. So <clears throat> this is a one hour, 30 day chart. I've set our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite to zero, so it measures all of the trends, uh, the trades, the trends, the corrections. Um, but in essence, we can also isolate. These are the highs here. This is where our software has isolated those highs to give us the wave count one, two, three, four, and it's the wave four that we're interested in right now. So let's have a look at this more closely. So the main trend is down. We can tell that I'm just using just the first glimpse now of our day trading add on suite. We've got a multiple time frame dot cloud down at the bottom here. This little bottom um, set of dots in red denotes the monthly time frame, and that is in red denoting a overall bearish trend. So we're looking for bearish trades. We're on the 60 minute time frame. We've pulled back on the dot cloud at the moment. We're looking for these to go red again here and to get a triangle or a square at the top. And that should happen when we come out of the 64 moving average high here. So just a quick glimpse of what that is. That's an add on suite. Uh, we use it for day trading, but we can use this particular dot cloud for multiple time frames to help us set up these intraday type uh, swing trades as well. So <clears throat> let's get back to the initial filters for this potential short. The first one is that we've had a wave for pullback against the main trend, and this has pulled back into our automated probability zones. The amber zone here is where the wave force found resistance, and that gives us an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave low into our automated target zone down here in blue. The next is the performance of this wave four, and on the oscillator here, the first of the uh, the top of the subcharts, this pullback has happened between 90 and 140 percent, which is exactly what we need. We now need to see it crown and come back down as this moves to the downside. Also, the stochastic, we've got a false breakout stochastic here. We can see this yellow bar at the bottom. Now, this denotes a really strong bearish move. And when the stochastic pulls back against there, crosses over in the overbought zone, the likelihood is it wants to go back to that bearish trend. So this isn't, and then this is the fifth wave that we're looking for. So we're going to trade the fifth wave. We're looking for this resistance to hold. So when today's session opens, we're looking for further movement down outside of our 6-4 moving average low, the red moving average here. This is an advanced moving average, and we are looking for it to break through there for our entry. So our entry is going to be at 36.23, stop loss just above the wave 4 there at 36.91 or 36.92, something like that. And then our target zone here, the bottom of the target zone is about 35.13 top of the target zone is uh, 35.38. So got a good target there. We've got a risk reward of 1 to 1.6 to the bottom end of the target zone here. Reasonable risk reward for an intraday type swing. And this is very, very simply how we set these signals up on our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.